This year, four longtime town employees retired. Fire Chief Ken Clark, Police Lieutenant Charles Wallace, Town Treasurer Maureen Duanell, and Town Clerk Jerry Holland. I asked Town Manager Norman Kumalu his thoughts on this year's retiring class. Well, this is uh, an excellent group of individuals. Uh, each one of them brought many skills uh, and talents to their positions. I've had the honor uh, and the privilege to work with the four individuals over the last uh, seven years. Um, they all have done great things for the community. Uh, think of Chief Clark. Uh, he single-handedly um, introduced emergency management to the work of the fire department. Uh, and what the public doesn't see is the effort that goes into coordinating the activities of different town entities with the work of outside agencies. Uh, you see that when there's no storms, you see that when um, he was dealing with the, with the marathon. Uh, it's one of the largest public gathering events in this state and he did that successfully over many, many years. Uh, Jerry Holland, I think what people need to remember about Jerry Holland is the fact that uh, she managed, in fact, the multiple transitions in the town manager's office. Uh, she worked with different boards of selectmen, different town managers, and my transition into this role would not have been successful, would not have been as smooth as it was, uh, were it not for Jerry's contributions. Uh, Maureen Dunel, the numerous and multiple uh, projects that were approved at town meeting were funded through her office. And many a times, she always found a way to reduce the cost of those projects uh, to the taxpayers. I know usually credit goes to the project manager who's managing that particular project, but what I know here in the office is the work that Maureen did in coming up with the appropriate borrowing formula uh, that decent or reduced the cost of the project tremendously, re resulting in multi-dollar um, savings for the community. Um, Chuck Wallace, what a wonderful gentleman. Um, I actually enjoyed working with Chuck from the viewpoint of he always presented the viewpoint that our work is about building community. By way of example, all the meetings that Chuck attended after hours uh, were meetings that he himself was required to attend or his wife was required to attend. Chuck always was by his side. And I think that was a constant reminder uh, to all of us that um, families are important uh, and, and that we should always look for opportunities to strengthen family principles here at Town Hall as well as uh, in the work that we do. Um, again, it's great pleasure and, and privilege for me to work with this team. I then asked what he will miss most about working in the same building as Town Clerk Jerry Holland and Town Treasurer Maureen Duanell. For a personal issue, she always was there to offer her advice and she did it in a very fair, impartial uh, and progressive manner. Uh, Jerry Holland, very kind. Uh, I, 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 I always say Jerry uh, defined the edge in town hall. Um, she had a very humane approach to doing her work, and I will miss that. Recently, some residents discussed disagreement with the Board of Selectmen decision to make Deputy Chief Stephen Slammon the interim fire chief until March 31st, and then consider if a further search process should be done prior to the March 31st date. I asked the town manager what the thought process was behind the decision. I think um, having been a member of the uh, pre-selection committee and also having been at the meetings, uh, my understanding is that the selectmen were looking for a process that would allow them to interview multiple candidates. Believe it or not, town election season and the annual town meeting are only about four months away. 
I asked the town manager about the annual town meeting calendar. Our annual town meeting is our Super Bowl, and so I, I, I felt that the selectmen last night uh, articulated to the public the key decision points leading to town meeting. Um, the discussion points were around giving the Board of Selectmen sufficient time to review the issues that will be presented eventually to, to town meeting. Um, they also wanted to uh, make sure that there is the appropriate collaboration and coordination with the school team. Uh, and um, from our perspective, I think we will now be working diligently to try and identify opportunities uh, for bringing the information regarding matters that will be brought forth to town meeting to the public early in the process. In terms of the actual calendar, I think the, the key date um, uh, that I, I would like to share with the public is that the annual town meeting warrant will open February 2nd and it will close March 3rd. So the public will have at least a month uh, to think through the articles. Um, our message here is that we are available town hall to work with any individual who wants to put together an article. We'll provide our time, we'll provide town council resources, and we encourage the public to contact the town manager's office if they have any questions regarding the preparation of town meeting articles. You may be wondering what will be the major topics of discussion in upcoming selectman meetings. Mr. Kumalu had a pretty straightforward answer. Yeah, I think it's going to be budget, budget, budget. <laughs> yeah, in addition to the budget, uh, town staff will be giving the selectmen, uh, I think, an update on the Main Street Corridor project, uh, as well as some of the preliminary observations made by uh, the new IT director. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's time that we come back to the selectmen and give them an update from an, um, an independent viewer, as point of view. It's going to be a busy period for us. Um, we're ready for the challenge. I think we have the appropriate team to uh, get us to town meeting and we're working hard to make sure that uh, this is going to be um, a smooth process for everybody.